Hi, I'm Wanda from Alanda Craft and this is our Quilting Blocks channel and today we're going to show you how to make this great looking log cabin block. So let's get started. To make this block you need some strips of fabric in various sizes. Now I'm not going to go through the sizing in this video because on our website we have a PDF download for you. It, there's a picture of the block. There's all of the sizes of the fabrics that you need to cut and there's also a sheet on how to put it together. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is lay out our pieces the same as we have them in the picture here. And then we just go to page 3 and that tells you how to put them together. So, this is block 1 and this is block 2. So what we do is we take those two blocks, lay one on top of the other and we're going to sew with a quarter inch seam. Now what some people do is they just grab bits of fabric and they place them down and sew them on and there's nothing wrong with that, you can do that and then they trim them after. But it can lead to warping and distortion. So if you cut your, your pieces exactly as we've asked you to then you'll find that this block will come together beautifully and there'll be none of that distortion. So you can see I've sewn those two pieces together and I've pressed it with the seam going towards the outer edge and now I'm going to add the next piece and that's piece number three which is this one here so I just lay that along my piece that I've sewn and I'm going to sew that with a quarter inch seam so I've added the third piece and again I've pressed the seam towards the outside edge as you can see here and now I'm just going to add piece number four which is number four on my pattern I'm going to lay that down there and sew it with a quarter inch seam so I've sewn that piece on and I've pressed the seam towards the outside and now I'm going to put the next piece on which is piece number five in my pattern. Just lay that over, sew with a quarter inch seam. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue following the pattern until all my pieces have sewn together. So there we are, it's all finished and I've just put it together following our pattern. Nice and quick and easy. So if you've enjoyed this tutorial give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to catch us on uh, Facebook and Pinterest.